I'm guessing you were named after Alfred Lord Tennyson. You're right. My mom loved Alfred Lord Tennyson, so she named me Austin Lord Schmidt. You have a good name. You want to hear a poem? No. Shut up. It's short. Okay. The German drew back his knife. He saw the Jew man's strife. He asked, where is your God now, Jew? The Jew replied, he's in your knife, which is about to run me through. You're still on the Nazis! What do you think of the poem? Do you want to know the truth? I think it was deep. Don't bullshit. Could you not curse so much? I think it was deep for real. Why? I, I don't know. Where's the stuff come from anyways? I, I don't know. You think it was good? Yeah, but enough about the Nazis, Jim. Everything reminds you of the Nazis. Yeah, you're, you're right. Do you ever write about anything else? I wrote this today, right? No, I'm not ready. Shut up. Adam, standing, buck naked and stock still, listened quietly to the dew as it settled. He stood chilly and damp and quite alone, a half of a man with a fiery aching rib. That's it? Yeah. That's Adam from the Bible. Yeah, right? it's, it's about loneliness. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? No. Well, <laughs> there's, there's Linda Peppy, but, but I blew that. Who's she? What did you do? Take your time, I want the details. She came into my class in the eighth grade, I Italian. And she was a woman, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, well, like how? She was busting out of her clothes, and her eyes were black, glittery black, and everything she did was black magic. She, she never moved in a way that wasn't worth watching. I could watch her all day. So what, what happened? <laughs> she asked me to walk her home one day and I realized she liked me. So you walked her home? No. It was <laughs> lying. <laughs> what I did was I, I knocked her books out of her hands and laughed at her. What? Why? I don't know, and that was the end of that. Maybe you could, you could still patch it up. No! I'm not even there. Anyway, I knew what would happen if I walked her home. What? <laughs> It would be, you know, it wouldn't be what I wanted. What did you want? A, a situation. A staircase. You wanted a staircase? Linda Peppy couldn't be Linda Peppy. She was too wrapped up in, in passing for, for an ordinary girl. She didn't know what she was. What was she? She was 20 feet tall. She was beautiful. Not, not pretty. Not cute. Beautiful. But she didn't know it. She didn't want to know it, in my opinion, which, which made me so mad. And I, I knocked her books out of my hands and, and let her hate me. You wish you walked her home. Uh, you wish you walked her home. Maybe. Yeah. I am the master of my fate. Is that another poem? Not by me. I wish I felt like that. I am the captain of my soul. Like what? Like I was the master of my fate. <laughs> what would you do? I'd smoke. I'd drink. I'd hitchhike across the country. I'd, 
I catch fish. I eat corn from the cornfields. I, I write poems like Walt Whitman, just, just naming everything. And I, I punch anybody who bothered me. Pow! Right in the face. I'd fight in wars, and I'd say everything that came into my head, and I'd, I'd travel through time, too, and meet all the geniuses. Wouldn't that be cool? God, it's impossible, though. It's a prison to think things are impossible. Okay, uh, I'd like to meet Sir Isaac Newton. He'd be good. And Beethoven. And Pablo Picasso. You don't need a time machine to meet Picasso. He's still alive. What? No, he... He must be dead a long time now. No, I, I saw his picture in the paper around Thanksgiving. For what? For just still being alive, I guess. And I'd like that too! To, to be super old and famous, like, like in a Chinese robe and sunglasses. <laughs> I can't picture you old. I can't picture me right now. Maybe I'm going crazy. You are not. Everything I do, I, I don't know why I do it. I, I'm like a robot. I don't know why I took that bell. Do you feel like you're missing everything? Sure. Why? Because I am. I'm on top of a mountain in New Hampshire, in a tiny boys' school, run by my freaking uncle. My uncle is a hard ass. He'll kick you out. You're not back on the block now. Stop drinking! Do you want me to find another roommate? Because I will! I don't know why I do things. It's creepy. It drives me nuts. Am I taking orders from who? Come on, Jim. You're a teenager. What's that supposed to be? It's not going to stay like this. You know this. that? Of course I do. So all these years, 16 years, it's okay if they're just wasted? Take it easy. Are you crying? No. Hey, man, it's okay. I'm sorry. You're such a better person than I am. You deserve a better roommate than me. Just get rid of the bottle. Okay. After lights out. Yeah, talk more about Linda Peck. I don't really have more. I knew an Italian girl. Her name was Maria Mazzola. She was at the same day camp as me. Whenever she sat down, she folded both her hands on one knee like this. It was so cool. I'd wait for her to do it, the folded hands. She was like a queen on her day off. <laughs> I'd think about her and I'd, I'd say her name when I was alone. Maria Mazzola! I'd write her name on an envelope like I was gonna send her a letter, but I didn't even know her at all. She was just this girl I would see at camp. And then one day she was gone, she got sick or something, and I never saw her again, but I still say her name sometimes. Maria Mazzola. Maria Mazzola. Maria Mazzola. Linda Peppy. Not as good. <laughs> Maria Mazzola is better. At the top of a flight of stairs she waits, listening for the words that will win her love. What would you say to her? <laughs> Maria, I am nothing. I have nothing. I am poor and the world does not know me, but, but if you let me into your heart, you will, will not be sorry. <laughs> if you decide to let me into your crystal castle, I will face down the Nazis for you.